For me, it's always been really important that I take all of the gifts and, and the opportunities that I've been given and I try to really put a dent in the universe and, and try to positively contribute in whatever way that I can. After I finished high school, I went to the University of Otago and it was really there that I fell in love with robotics. Um, did his undergraduate degree here, went over to the US to do his PhD and some of the code that he developed during his PhD is now um, running around on the rovers in Mars. So this is like an incredible story, right? So you start off in New Zealand and you end up um, developing stuff that's on another world. So we try to use that um, to inspire our students, say look, it's what it's possible to achieve even when you're starting out you know, at a small country at the bottom of the world. So Neuro was born uh, as the brainchild of, of my co-founder Jay-Z and I. And one of the things that we both recognized was we're going to see a pretty significant shift in how we interact in the physical world over the next two to three decades. So when we started a company, I remember that Dave was really passionate about two things. One is robotics and how can we make everyone's life better through robotics. Um, and the other part is climate change. And in the last six years, I've seen him work really, really hard on both topics. Uh, develop really, really cool technology that could really help build a better future for all of us. A lot of the things that we're doing today that, that perhaps we don't love doing, the, the places where we're spending time that we would rather not spend time, I think all of that will get replaced uh, by, by robots or other forms of, of technology. And in doing so, I think we will be able to focus our time on the places where it matters most. Um, so I, I think that that is a very positive uh, aspect of the technology that we're broadly building. Um, I think it's going to enable everyone to spend their time on more meaningful things, ideally uh, in the pursuit of leisure and spending time with their loved ones. Dave has um, very kindly donated money to support fourth year students or particular fourth year students to go into fourth year and continue their studies. Um, and this is in memory of one of our staff who were here when, and was quite inspirational for Dave, um, Dr. Willem Labuschagne, who um, sadly passed away uh, a few years ago. So what we hope is that it will encourage students to continue their studies and perhaps allow them potentially to um, have a much greater impact on the world. I think there are tremendous opportunities for entrepreneurs everywhere and, and I think New, New Zealand is in some ways uniquely positioned, right? If, if you look post-COVID, we're in a new working model where being remote is far less of a big deal than it was two, three, five, ten years ago. And so that in many ways breaks down a lot of the barriers that New Zealand may have had in terms of their ability to, to really interact and operate on, on the world stage. So I do see this being a, a pretty remarkable next couple of decades for New Zealand.